Welcome your list. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to apply header injection policy. So if you go to API manager, you can see when, whenever you want to apply any new policy, uh, you, when you click this, there is something called a header injection policy. So how to apply, I'll be going to show in this video. And please remember that uh, in this video, the application is already deployed. Uh, so you can see here, whatever is there here, which is deployed, you can see. I'll be sending this. It's a simple uh, REST API which displays the headers, uh, the default headers, and all the attributes basically. So I'm printing the attributes, and uh, you can see the same thing I am logging over here. So um, usually there will be a scenario where you will be asked to forward um, some custom headers, customized headers, uh, like from the client side or customer side. Uh, so how to do that if you see these are the basic headers that you can see whenever you send a request to your Microsoft API so it's like host you can see the IP accept coding and coding and all these things so if you want to uh, send some customized error sorry headers then how to do it I'll show you so go to API manager uh, guys again I have already deployed my application with a valid API ID and that's the reason it is showing active here I'm not going to discuss more how to deploy an application and apply policies you can see my session 10 video on uh, mules of for absolute bigness playlist all right so i am already having a basic authentication uh, policy you can see here uh, if i remove this and give a wrong password it says authentication attempt failed and if i give a correct password so it gives the headers now let us go ahead and apply he header injection so i'll be taking the latest version of it so i'll click on configure policies i'm applying for all the methods and resources so um, it's like inbound header and outbound header you can see here um i will add anything for now i am um, hard coding the values but you can also write some custom expressions you can also use data view expression language in the values how to do that i will show you here um, so i'll say just name and sravan don't forget to click on plus symbol here that's how it is added so let me apply this policy for now i'm just adding one inbound header it's not outbound inbound is something you are injecting outbound headers or something which you will see in the output response uh, here somewhere all right so let me apply the policy wait for like few seconds once it is reflected so usually what i do is uh, whenever there is a change in policy you can see there will be like a log written like applied policy blah 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 so let's wait for this to get applied so please don't forget that uh, you have to click on plus symbol uh, whenever you are adding so here you can click view detail it will show you the inbound header map i'm injecting a header with key as name and value as seven so let us try uh, by sending the request still you can see the value is not updated here because uh, you don't find this policy applied yet so i'll just refresh my application let's wait for a minute so here you can see that applied policy header injection version blah 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 in the application so this is how you can verify that your your uh, policy is applied or modified send the request you can see now a new header that we are injecting right name Stravan has been added into the headers so this is how you can actually add the headers uh, there are many other ways where the client can simply send the custom headers when they are calling our new software rest api but if there are if the client or customer is not able to send customized headers for example if it is a another mule software application for example you have to pass the headers from experience api to process api or system api you can just uh, use it in http requester you can add the headers but what if it is a, some external system that needs to be called like for example if this is an experience api and if it is um, if there is another application or a system which is calling this rest endpoint and they are not able to 
add the custom headers then this is one of the way there are other there are other ways also you can add it in http listener but i won't recommend it because http listener for example in future if you want to change the name of this value you have to change the code which in turn we have to redeploy the application but in this case it is not necessary all right so you can see here the header which we have injected is been added next so this is a static value but we can also do some kind of uh, data view thing okay and if you want to modify it there is no option guys you have to remove it and add the new one you cannot modify the existing header okay in case if you want to modify this all you can do is you can remove it and search like you can type again name and you can give your value now <clears throat> let me do some data view expression within the headers so i'll just copy paste whatever i am uh, doing over here all right so what i'll do is if a equal to equal to a then i'll say value is correct else no header okay so this is how i wanted to have so it's always the the value should always be like value is correct okay so i'll copy this and how to use this data view expression within this header injection so first what you need to do is any mules of expression language will be enclosed by hash and square brackets now so just use this hash and square bracket and whatever code you have copied you can just paste it over here sorry i have copied the other one so copy and paste it okay and apply the policy wait for it to be reflected here again in the runtime manager so usually now i should get name equal to value is correct instead of sravan it should come as value is correct so coming back to this i'll wait for a minute for a second it's not that data view expression language is can only be applied on value side but you can also apply it for key side all right so let's wait So you can see the policy is applied now now if i send the request you can see it is you are not able to see the value here right but why is the question so here you cannot find your uh, name and the value why that means i have done some mistake i told you right whenever if you see here view details there is nothing here because i forgot to add plus symbol over here you can see here i didn't i forgot plus symbol over here to add it so this is a common mistake which everyone does so please don't forget to add this plus symbol if you are not able to see it in your uh, uh, headers uh, first thing you have to check is whether you have applied uh, you, whether i have clicked on that plus symbol or not so let's wait for another minute and uh, see once it is deployed so yes it is deployed and it has applied now if i send the request you can see now i am able to get this name value is correct okay and i will go back to my headers just wanted to show the other else condition edit it i i told you right we cannot edit the uh, existing one so what i'll do is i'll see b equal to equal to a so i'll go here i can give some other name you know um, company or some value so i will use this and paste it here don't forget to click on plus and apply so you can add as many number of uh, headers as you want based upon your requirement so let's wait again for it to get applied So it is applied it is quick this time 
So if you send the request, you can see one of the headers is value is correct and the other header is company no header. Okay, in this way, we can um, usually apply the policies. Let me give a try. I haven't tried this way, but I wanted to try something else, whether if I am able to pass um, like more than one header or something like that let let me give it a try if it works if not then you can say that it cannot work so here um, header one colon um, i'll just use value one comma header two colon value two If again a equal to equal to a, uh, no, I'll change this. I'll keep like b, comma. I'll copy the same thing here and paste it here. So it's like header three, value three, equal to equal to a. I was thinking something else. Then I am I'm just thinking whether this is valid or not. Um, so the value should be coming like this uh, so what I'll try to do is I'll go ahead and add edit the header add one more so I have to use some other value mm, let me use like multiple headers Right. So again, don't forget to keep this hash and square brackets, and you can paste it over here. All right, and then just click on place symbol, apply. Let's wait for this to get applied. So the policy is applied. Now I'll send the request. You can see it is saying error because it says it is giving some JSON expression error. So it cannot pass a JSON. It, it should be like a string because um, Java like the value should always be a string in header. So we cannot apply. So it should result this whole thing should result into a string. So you can just use the right function probably and then apply it. Okay. So right. Application JSON. So this is a string basically. So I copy this and we I told you we cannot edit the existing one. What I can do is I can remove the one and say multiple headers again and within square and hash. I'll paste this and click on plus symbol and I'll click on apply. Let's wait for the application to be deployed. Sorry, apply. There is no need for you to redeploy re the application if you want to apply the headers, uh, the policies. And now I'll send the request. Now you can see the value is getting printed. So this is how you can like, you know, if you want, you can again read it as a JSON if you need it. All right. So the other thing, last one, which I wanted to show you is you can also apply some if and else condition. For example, what I can do is I will just remove this write function and this everything. So what I will do is I will remove one condition here. 
or you can say like if a equal to equal to a then you can say head f1 else null i can say this i can use this right so what i will do is i will copy this go ahead go to actions edit it i'll have two headers one is i won't say this uh, so the value of so here i'm making a mistake i should use hash and square brackets and then paste it so this the value will result into header one so what i will do is the value is also header one and i add one more thing again same mistake one more thing and here i will give b so else null okay it will result into null value and i will type it as header 2 so i should get here the header 1 value but i should not get header 2 value because the key is resolved to null here okay let's see if you are able to get the correct response as we expected let's go ahead to our code okay the policy is applied let's try it so here you can see multiple headers which is already there which is printing company no header is printing name is printing header one which we resolve right in the dwl language header one it is getting printed but the other one which we used header two right which we resolved it to null it is not showing so if there is any condition where you have like you don't want to print the headers um based upon some condition they can then you can use the same data view expression language so this is how basically you can uh, manipulate the customized headers using data view expression language hope this video finds helpful for you um, so i'll come up with more policies on how to apply different policies in mule for incoming sessions